Okay guys, so the next thing I am going to show you is some of the new blog layouts when you have a grid layout on your page, which the grid layout is going to look like this, where it lays it out like this. They have now added a few new options. There's a couple more I'm going to show you here that I don't have up yet, but they have this video option, so it turns the top of your blog into a video instead of an image, a slider, so you can have a slider instead of just a single image, audio, and then they also have a motivational quote and a link, which I will show you as well. So first let's go ahead and do the video. The video one is pretty easy. You just need to come into the back end, set it as video, and then you just need to go over to YouTube, grab a YouTube URL, and then you're going to come back over to the back end. You're going to make sure you go to text, not visual, put in the YouTube URL, hit update, and then that is going to take this video, put it in place of your featured image, and take this URL and put that video in place of that image. So now when we come back over, we have a video instead of just that single image. The next one, which is the slider, is in this one here. So we're going to go ahead and do the slider. And one thing I forgot to mention in the previous one, make sure you have a featured image in because it's going to replace this featured image. It's going to tell it when you uh, switch it to a different style that this is what it needs to replace it with. So with the gallery, you're going to go ahead and choose gallery. Come over here into the text section like before. Then you're going to go ahead and say add media create gallery and then we're just going to go ahead and choose these images and you'll see down here they're adding it so they don't all need to be highlighted so we're going to just choose a few images create a new gallery go ahead and insert gallery hit update and make sure we have gallery chosen And then that is going to turn this right here into a slider gallery instead of just a single image. So now we have a slider that has multiple images <laughs> on top of our blog. The next one is the audio. So we're going to go back into posts. For this one, uh, you can't do just files from the internet. You have to actually have an audio file uploaded to your website. So we're going to go into this one. And we are going to go in text once again, not the front end. And then we are going to choose audio. We are going to add media it's going to be in the same place as your images because you upload it to the where all the other media is so we're going to choose the audio file insert into post uh, it's actually going to give you an option too it didn't show the option there but there's going to be embed media player or just a iframe but you're going to want to use the embed as media player and you can tell too, because it'll either have iframe, iframe, or audio, audio. And then you're just going to go ahead and hit update. And then that is going to put the music one in. And I will show you these two quickly, the video and the audio. So at this point, you may want to turn down your speakers if you have them up really loud, because these two are quite loud but i'm going to show you quickly how they work so now i'm going to hit play on this 
And now you see that we have audio that's playing here. You can see the play bar going down. You can see this here. And you can see that this is working. And then we have the YouTube video. So when we hit play over here, okay. this small section up here is going to start playing. So if you have videos to your blog that are videos of you speaking, you can have them literally laying right on top of your blog. You don't have to have it in the blog. They can see it right here. And then, of course, they can click through to your blog right here. So the other two that are in here, next we will take a look at the motivational quote, and we will put that one on top of this one right here. So for this one, we're going to just grab a little bit of text, and we are going to look for the quotation marks, which I actually don't see right here, so I'm just going to do it the manual way to show you guys. Block quote, and block quote. Uh, now when you do it, you're probably going to have to replace the quote with block quote block quote. You want to make sure you have an open one, which is this one. And then you have the close one, which has this little slash because that's a close tag. And that's going to tell it that's where it ends. So then we're going to take this one and we're going to change it to a quote. And then go ahead and hit update. And let's see, that should have worked right now. So we will update, yep. And there's our block quote. And you see it changed that to the green part and there's the text that we put in. So the last and final one that we are going to take a look at is the link, which is going to allow us to put a link above the blog. So let's go ahead, go into here and choose link. Now let's go ahead and add in a link. And update. And refresh. And then now we have the title of the blog. And then we have a link right down here for the actual blog that it leads to. So now we've got this right here is a link. So if I were to click this instead of the one down here, this will take me directly to that blog post. And that is everything for the new blog layout.